Well, good afternoon, guys. This is our last time we're going to be here in Krabi for quite a while, here with the brother Grant. We're off to the bus station, which is about five or six kilometers. We just got to catch a little bus here, take us to the bus station, and then we're going to jump on a bigger bus and head up to Bangkok on an overnight sleeper. So uh, yeah, I want to try and vlog up how we get there and some of the costings to help out people who are going from Krabe to Bangkok and even from Bangkok back down to Krabe. So hopefully this vlog will give you a bit of insight into costs and where to go and what to do. Check it out guys, we're at the bus station here in Krabi. Managed to grab a ticket to go to Suratkani station, it costs 150 baht. There are a couple of places around this bus station you can grab tickets, but this was the cheapest. Check it out, this is our bus heading to Suratkani. It's got an Indian logo on it. So check it out guys, we're now on the bus. It's got aircon coming out of here. Feels so good. And the window view. Wow, it's time to relax. Got all the goodies stocked up. Oh, for awesome. Well, guys, we made it to Suratani here on the eastern side of southern Thailand. We're just heading to one of the markets to go and grab us something to eat and then we're going to catch our bus up to Bangkok. Please guys. So we were going to look at taking the train but it's kind of a big trip heading out to the train station so instead we're just going to catch an air-conditioned double-decker bus tonight and also it's a lot cheaper. It's only like $16 New Zealand from here to Bangkok whereas the train is around $30 New Zealand. So, all good in the hood. Be able to do some video editing on the bus anyway. But for now, we're heading to one of the markets up here. Gonna load up on some more Thailand goodness, which is all good in the hood. And then uh, head back up to Bangkok. Check out all that food, guys. Check out this pumpkin. I'm going to grab some of these pumpkins. Alright guys, got some water, got some more food to load up on on the bus. We're now heading to our connecting bus and then uh, it's an all-nighter trip up to Bangkok. So hopefully during that time I can get some video editing done. And uh, yeah, have a good little sleep as well. See you guys in Bangkok. Well, we made it onto our night bus and uh, we're on our way to Bangkok. So we should be there in about 12 hours. We've got a couple of stops along the way for pit stops. So looking forward to uh, having some pit stops along the way and eating some uh, night food. But uh, yeah, there's only one, two, three, four, about six of us on the bus at the moment. And uh, we're about to head off and get going. stops along the way so one of those is a food stop so looking forward to that 
check out that guy's van with all those coconuts in the back. What's up guys, we're here in Bangkok finally, got dropped off on the bus and uh, we got dropped off about 100 meters away from our accommodation which is pretty good and as soon as we got dropped off a whole bunch of taxi drivers come up like vultures going taxi taxi I'll take you for four dollars to your destination which is 100 meters away I said piss off, I'm not paying four bucks just to walk over there so we're here anyway guys here in Bangkok we had some fun with the guys these taxi drivers this is Cosine Road this is the most popular road here in uh, Bangkok with all the clubs bars this is like the Bangla Road of Bangkok right here so I'm gonna come and vlog this road up for you during the week but for now it's time to go to the Acom and then settle in, go grab some breakfast uh, and I think today we might go to the Grand Palace because uh, it looks like it's not going to rain so it's best to check out the Grand Palace when it's not raining so looking forward to that just heading to the Acorn navigating our way through all the little nooks and crannies here of Bangkok there's like Heaps of potholes and everything like that. What's up guys, good morning. Well, we're in Bangkok, finally at the accommodation. Just finished having a nice cold shower. Now it's time to go and get some breakfast and uh, have a look around Bangkok. I haven't been here for about a year. I do want to go and check out stuff I never did last year. Like there's a couple of pagodas and markets that I also want to check out. Go back to MBK. I want to go and do some technical stuff and check out some gadgets and uh, yeah Bangkok back here once again streets of Bangkok time to go and get some breakfast go for a bit of a walk around first part of my daily workout is to hit the organic treadmill around whatever town or city I'm in check out some of the wares food like this Mmm. Streets of Bangkok. Well, we're down here at the Chao Praia River and you can see some of the vegetation and trees in the river they've had like a few days of rain here so the river's looking quite brown although I think it's always brown but check out all their vegetation in there just floating down the river whoa check out this guy fishing in the river I suppose you gotta survive somehow So this is the infamous Cosine Road here during the day. Go for a little bit of a ticket tour down here. It's pretty much just a market here though, during the day. At night, it's a nightclub in rage. Even monks visit Cosine Road. Check out this fruit cart guys. 20 baht for any of these big pieces of fruit. 20 baht's about, I think, 50 cents New Zealand. Gadget hunting, gadget hunting. You know what's in a Big Mac? It's two or beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. 